is a continuing conversation across the nation and right here in Hampton Roads. Today, a housing symposium had community members in Norfolk call on Governor Glenn Youngkin to take action on affordable housing bills. Miles Hood was there and he joins us in the studio. Miles. Yeah, that's right. Several housing bills are sitting on Governor Glenn Youngkin's desk after passing through the General Assembly. Now, this afternoon in Norfolk, advocates gathered to give a clear message. They want affordable housing for everyone. The struggle for affordable housing is one many can relate to. After the death of her husband, Jennifer Branham went looking for a new place to live. Not only did they want a deposit, a security deposit, they wanted a $250 administration fee. I wasn't going to get that back. What was that for? To pay staff to process paperwork. A lot of these families can't pay that. Today's symposium is hosted by Virginia Organizing. The grassroots movement met at the new Macedonian Christian Church. Let us stand with those who are homeless and facing evictions. Local activists and speakers from the faith community spoke about the current state of affordable housing in Hampton Roads. Uh, the top evicting cities in the U.S. of the 109,000, one is North Charleston, South Carolina, two is Richmond, Virginia, three is Hampton, Virginia, four is Newport News, Virginia, five is Jackson, Mississippi. They hope for an increase in tenants' rights through legislation. Branham believes these laws will better help all Virginians that are struggling to find housing and stay in it when they get there. Give people opportunity to make it right. I mean, we all struggle. We all, I mean, there are people who are make, making it paycheck to paycheck, but because someone is maybe 30 days behind and you take them to court and want to put them out, that, that's not right. Organizers at the meeting tell me this won't be the only time they plan to meet like this. They say they're going to continue to address the housing crisis. I'm Miles Hood for 13 News Now.